Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your overarching energy for the month, Leo, and see what we have for you. What do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Leo, please. February 2021. Thank you, that flew out. Ace of Cups. Wow, the Cup of Joy. Very, very beautiful energy. Okay. Okay, message for Leo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. So, Leo, I've got healing. This can be healing recovery as well for some of you. Okay. And what does healing do? It brings us back to who we are. You know, it's beautiful energy. Okay. So, angels, what is the message for Leo, please? The message for Leo, thank you. We have romance. Okay, so Leo, I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, though the energies may well overlap, divine timing and all that. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, February 2021 for the sign of Leo. Thank you. The High Priestess. Queen of Cups. Generally a card of Cancer for me as a reader. Can be General Water, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or could be the energy of that person. So we have the Two of Pentacles. And there you are, Leo. <laughs> Very nice, okay. Message for Leo, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Leos, thank you. Okay, thank you. I've got three cards here, Leo. Um, I'm just going to put them out like this. And the Strength card, Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. So we have Romance, we have Healing, and we have the Ace of Cups, the most beautiful card in the Minor Arcana. Um, the Ace of Cups is it's a card of new beginnings, emotional renewal, emotional rebirth. It can be a physical new beginning, Leo. It can be an emotional new beginning. So it can be where you are finding the beginnings of happiness, self-love, reconnecting to who you are and finding your flow, moving forward. So that's why it can be emotional rebirth. Um, also, because we have romance here, there could be somebody new offering you love. It feels promising I have to say <laughs> um, and this is beautiful this is a this is an energy of purity pure love fulfillment contentment um, yeah just happiness real happiness and joy so absolutely beautiful energy for that reason and it comes after you've been healing Because the Hermit is, it's interesting the Hermit with the High Priestess, because the Hermit is an energy of 
introspection, soul searching, finding answers from within, maybe taking some alone time to get to, to get perspective, to regroup. What the Hermit does, it allows you to raise your vibration from within by shining a light on things, on, on ways forward through situations that you needed to heal from, that you needed to come to terms with. And there's a wonderful promising energy with the Hermit because he shines the light on, on your internal direction and how you need to take action in your external environment. It's wisdom, guidance from within on taking action in your external environment. And again, I see this High Priestess as reconnecting to you, who you are, your soul path, your soul light, your true essence. I mean, it's a very beautiful energy can also be an energy of now is the time you're being given knowledge, wisdom, guidance, but you're also being given um, intuitive guidance forward here by God, the universe, the divine. So source is really illuminating you from within on how you need to take action in your external environment. But there's a wonderful energy of you've been through the healing process and reconnecting to who you are. Because... I mean, there could be uh, the Empress and the Queen of Cups. I mean, it's slightly more feminine energy, I have to say. Um, in a one-to-one -one reading, I would say this is definitely a female, but obviously male or female because it is a general reading for a number of people. So Queen of Cups is, it feels an offer of love. Um, and the Empress is, is sowing new seeds. Uh, there's definitely this energy, Leo, of there's new growth with somebody here that you're meeting somebody new. And this is a budding relationship. You know, the Empress is the birth of something new, creating something new with somebody new. And I definitely feel in this energy that there is somebody new coming into your life, probably first to the second week of February, that you're really deeply connecting with. That is the beginnings of new happiness. Um, the Queen of Cups, she holds this Ace of Cups. So I'm definitely seeing her connected to this new beginning here. And obviously the Empress is a new beginning energy. She is the beginnings of something happening in your conscious reality, the beginnings of abundance, feeling lack for nothing. She's a wonderful, nurturing, fulfilling, bountiful energy. So there's real growth. There's real promise. You're being asked to fulfill the promise, something that is promising coming your way here. Absolutely beautiful. You know, the Knight of Cups, again, I'm getting with this Queen of Cups here. Um, there's definitely this energy here, Leo, of, I mean, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love that is going to bring change and it feels positive change to your world. It might throw you off balance a little bit, you know, it might throw you off balance this. Um, because with the two of pentacles, it's a Jupiterian energy. It is wanting to bring you gifts. Um, but it, it feels in this situation, I, I just get this energy of, am I ready for it? Am I ready for it, you know? Um, that Two of Pentacles energy is an energy of the needing to adapt and to adapt to somebody who is coming into your world that is bringing change, that is requiring you to adapt. And it just feels kind of like, it might throw you off balance a little bit, but it feels like a positive adapt. It feels like positive change. Uh, refocus your priorities, reevaluate what's of value in your life, because it definitely feels for some of you, they're bringing you an offer that is of value, that is going to lift your spirits, that is something that is going to bring the beginnings of happiness your way. But again, it just feels in this energy, it might throw you a little bit off balance, and there is definitely an energy to maybe adapt your perspectives maybe from healing from I, I just feel it still because you, you've healed from something from the past and then somebody new is coming in and it might throw you off balance a little bit but it doesn't feel a bad energy it just feels give yourself time and space go at your own time and space most definitely to adapt to what this person 
is bringing it into you because it feels very beautiful. So go at your own pace most definitely, but it definitely feels for some of you someone's bringing change your way. And again, you know, I have the Knight of Wands, which is the green light to go energy. Go, go, go for this. I mean, the Knight of Wands, it makes me laugh because every time I see the Knight of Wands, which I see is, it can be you, Leo. I mean, Gemini is Sagittarius, but it can be you in this reading. Um, this is a card of go for it, get back on the horse, go for something now. It's a card of inspired action. Um, it's going for this opportunity as well. So I'm definitely feeling in this energy. And the Knight of Wands is an interesting one because he charges ahead. But as he does so, he leaves behind a situation where he thinks, oh, thank goodness that is behind me. I'm going towards this. And what are you going towards? It's another new beginning card that is putting you back in your element. A new door is opening for you. And the Ace, the Ace of Pentacles, in, a, in essence, is manifesting something new in your conscious reality. The beginnings of growth. I mean, all this, this, this kind of like earthy energy, Venus in Taurus with the Empress. You know, the Two of Pentacles, the, the good things wanting to come into your life, but there's a need to adapt, prioritize. You know, I'm definitely getting this energy of finding what's of value to you in your life and going for it, you know, overcoming your own fears, your own doubts, your own uncertainties of what, what you've gone through in the past and bringing positive change to your world. So I definitely see this as manifesting a new path for yourself. And it feels in terms of love, romance, relationships, this is the seed. I told you, plant new seeds. This is the opportunity to plant new seeds for future growth. And I definitely feel it's in terms of love, romance, relationships. Lovely, lovely reading. So I'm going to pull you a final card. You are being given the cup of joy. And the message is accept it. Go for it. Green light to go. Yeah. Antelope. New pathways, consider whether you are happy on your current path. Yeah, that makes sense. So I love the energy here, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.